Welcome to the OG Pod. I am your host, Scott Bernstein, Quick Hitter Edition. Uh, we're going to talk about a le legendary Hells Angel, Diamond Dan Byfield, uh, has been released from prison. He's home after about 13 years uh, locked up, 12, uh, maybe about between 10 and 12 years locked up uh, on racketeering charges. He is a uh, one of these guys that uh, when we talk about the trifecta of the, the true OGs, feared, beloved, respected. That's what uh, Diamond Dan uh, was and is, uh, a legend on the East Coast when it comes to Hells Angels and a, a legend down South. Uh, I want to make a quick correction. Uh, <laughs> reporting of Dan's uh, demise was uh, quite exaggerated and uh, inaccurate, and I apologize for uh, any um, false news that I put out. Uh, there were some rumors floating around that Diamond Dan had died, um, but that is not true. He was released from prison back right before Christmas. Um, he's about 72 years old. Uh, like I said, did about 10, 12 years on a, on a racketeering drug case uh, down in Columbia, South Carolina. But he's alive and well, uh, had a battle with a some type of infection in his foot. I believe he had a toe amputated or part of his foot amputated. But he is alive and well, uh, recovering from a decade plus in the slammer just to give a little bit of background on diamond danny uh a guy that got his nickname because of his love of, of expensive jewelry uh started the uh, hell's angels in bridgeport connecticut was the founder of the bridgeport connecticut hell's angels chapter and um was referred to by uh the feds and state police back in the 70s and early 80s as the most dangerous man in Connecticut. Uh, did some prison time off and on. Uh, you know, was known to work with uh, some of the Italian mobs on the East Coast, the New York uh, family, the Patriarchas, allegedly. And then uh, in the 2000s, came out of prison and decided to go plant a flag for the uh, for the Hells Angels down in the, uh, in the Carolinas and uh, opened up the Rock Hill chapter, Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is uh, located about an, uh, 45 minutes to an hour in between both uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and Columbia, South Carolina, so controlled kind of that uh, that border area and had had uh, a lot of sway, a lot of influence in, in both the Charlotte area as well as the Columbia area, but uh, was based out of Rock Hill. They called it the Rock Hell Nomads, and uh, Diamond Dan uh, is, you know, he's on that Mount Rushmore when you're talking about a guy that went and founded two different chapters in, in two parts of the country, and uh, now he's out. Uh, gets to go live the, the rest of his life, the best of his life um, in the future. So uh, we wish uh, Diamond Dan the best on his freedom. We apologize if uh, we help perpetuate the rumors that he had died. He is alive and well, uh, uh, back with his wife and family, and we only wish him the best. Uh, Diamond Dan, 72 years old, out of prison after a decade plus. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out.